Here's a tricky spot when you can pick that rope up off of the ground. Just coil and let that Honda hang in the air. And go ahead and coil and pick it on up. See I had a little watchy there? Just pick the Honda all the way up. So what you want to do, Allison did a really, really good job of being smooth because that's a pretty critical spot when that rope's just sitting right there in no man's land. It, it doesn't belong to him, doesn't belong to you. But you can see how if you just brought that up or startled him, he could get pretty troubled. And, and the good thing about this is we did it from, you know, that nice walk. So come back out here to the middle of that circle that you started, toss your coils back out, and just get him used to it. Because one of the things that, that you got to repeat is this scenario. You know, if, if I can just toss my coils out again, I'll throw them out in front of him so he can see, you know, a lot going on. You want to think about your angles on your horse. If it's too far in front of him or it's too far behind him, it might really confuse him. So see how your rope is now perpendicular to him. That kind of gives him an out. It's not too close to his hind end. It's not too close to his front end. Now the biggest thing is you don't want him to stick his head underneath that rope and go the other way. Then you're really going to get tangled up. Now just walk your circle around him because I'm, I'm kind of in your way. I don't necessarily want him to side pass away from your rope. See if you can knock those, there you go, just kind of work that, good. And, but see how you walking him gets him relaxed? When, when you, I want to start at a standstill because then you can see if he can handle it. But when he starts getting active in his feet, just get him out on a circle. And you want to alternate, and I say, I say you to Allison, but anybody at home watching, you want to check out your percentages of success. You're having a high percentage of success using your reins to steer him. Once you find a comfortable spot, you want to steer him with your legs. Because, you know, when you're dragging a log or we might use a pipe or right now this is enough to startle him.